today's really exciting because I'm going to be making some Christmas earrings. It's time to start making your Christmas earrings if you're planning on selling them or giving them as gifts. And I found these really cute Christmas charms on Amazon. They're like little fake sprinkles. And they I have so many ideas for these. But the first project we're going to use them for are these stud earrings. They're one of my favorite studs that I've made just because I love the nostalgic Christmas feel that they have. So... Uh, what we're going to do is use UV resin today. So you'll need a UV resin, a UV light, and the Christmas sprinkles. And we're also going to be using some gold foil. So go ahead and add your UV resin into the mold. I'm just going to do the first row um, to start with. But if you're near a window, that natural light from the window will start curing this UV resin. So just do a couple at a time. Now, if you aren't by a window, then you should be fine. It'll just cure with a UV light. So we are going to go ahead and put a red and green sprinkle into the first mold. And then I'm going to put a little peppermint candy. But I found out the hard way it will not pick up with just one with the, with the resin. So I had to use two toothpicks. You can use tweezers. You can even pick it up with your fingers and place it in. Um, I always wear gloves and a respirator mask when doing UV resin. And goggles is a good idea as well. So... I am adding these sprinkles and I'm going to make them all match and the peppermints were a little bit different sizes just because this is a bulk sprinkle pack so I just kind of tried to make sure that those were the right size if I was making a pair just because some of them were bigger and some of them were smaller same with like the Santa Clauses and stuff they were a little bit different sizes too so I just tried to make sure they were similar sizes so once I did that I did the whole row and now I'm going to add some gold foil to the back. And what that's going to do is going to hide our stud so you can't see it from the front. Because the front of these earrings will be the bottom part. So this, since we're not doing any type of a background collar with mica powder or anything, we're just going to put this in here and it'll hide our stud earring. I'm going to put that on each back. And then you put it under the UV light for a minute. Add a little bit more UV resin to the back of it to make it flat and then put the UV resin under it or the light under it for one more minute. Aren't these gingerbread houses cute? So I added those in there and then I put a little snowflake at the top and those turned out really cute as well. And then I did another one to match and then you'll do the gold foil on the back of these too. So for the next one, my window started curing them faster because the sunlight came out. So I'm doing a couple at a time now instead of the whole row. So this is a cute little Santa Claus. And I'm going to place him in there. I found two that were similar sizes. And then I'm going to press it down with my toothpick. And I decided it needed something else, so I added a green and a red sprinkle to the sides of it. And these turned out really cute, too. I actually love how they all turned out. I love Christmas. It's my favorite. So this remind, these uh, patterns and colors, they remind me of the Christmases from when I was younger. So once you're done with that, put your gold foil on the back, just like the others. And then just continue to do the whole row the same way. And then put it under the UV light for a minute. The reason I say a minute is because it continues curing with each new row you do. Because it's going to be under there for a minute for each time. So for this one, I really didn't know what I was going for. I knew I wanted to do a lot of sprinkles in it. But I wasn't sure because the size of it is a little strange. The size of the mold. So... I went ahead and decided to put two red and two green in each one. And then I still wasn't sure what I was going to do. <laughs> so I moved it around with the toothpick. And then eventually, I think by my third one, I kind of figured out what I was doing. I was like, okay, I'll do every other collar and then just line them up in a row. And it kind of reminds you of like an old nostalgic wooden toy or like the old Christmas lights maybe. I don't know. I just like how they turned out. And then there's some gold foil on the back, again, to hide the stud that we're going to put on it. 
if not, you see that silver poking through and it, it doesn't make the earring look very pretty. And then do your whole row just like that. And this one kind of was a little bit faster. Sorry if you hear my kids in the background. I couldn't get this done before they got home today, so you'll hear them. The top one, I just put gold foil into the clear resin. That's all I did for the top one. So I like to do the UV light for two minutes with it turned upside down so I can get the front of the earrings. Look how cute these turned out. I think the pepper ones are my favorite. Uh, I just, there's it's something about them. I really like them. And the gingerbread house and the snowflake, so cute. And then we have Santa, I think, is next. Yes, the Santa one is cute. There are so many different patterns that you could do with these earrings because there was other sprinkles I didn't even use in that pack. And there's just the possibilities are endless. You could do so many things. And this is just the plain gold foil. I'll link everything I use in this video in the description so you can see where I got them. So to finish these earrings off, we're going to put the studs on them. To do that, I this is the way I like to do it. There's so many ways to do this, but this is my preferred method. I've tried so many different ways. So I feel like it makes it the cleanest looking earring to do it this way. I dip it in the UV resin and I place the back directly in the middle of the earring. And then once you do that, you put it under the UV light for a minute. And that just sets the earring a little bit. But if you just leave it like that, it's not going to stay on. So my next step after I've done all of my earrings like that, then I will go and take it and I'm going to paint it on the back. So see how I can lift it up and everything, but it will fall off right now as it is. So I take this and I paint it and I go over the back of the earring and I do it like I'm doming the back pretty much, but it's not, it's kind of flat. So just paint it to the edges, but make sure it doesn't go over the edges. And then you just put it under the UV light for three to four minutes and your earrings are done. What I like to do is set it and set it to the side and then I'll just cure them all at once at the end. And that way it saves you a lot of time. These turned out so pretty. I love them so much. I kept a pair of the pepper ones, peppermint ones for myself. <laughs> and this is what they all look like finished. I have a ton of videos on my channel. Please check those out. Lots of different ideas for your resin projects. And I hope that you like this video. Please like and subscribe and comment which one's your favorite. Have a Merry Christmas.